What up, tribe? It's your girl, Raji, and I'd like to welcome you to my podcast, The Kush Concierge, Something for the People, where the evolved hustlers come to learn more about hoodoo, tarot, culture, astrology, and a little bit of everything in between. I hope you guys are having a great day. I am moving forward into the energy of this new full moon. It has shifted at this point into Aries. So now we are focused on moving into action, being passionate, and really just starting a new beginning in our lives as we've kind of eclipsed that negative energy and the blockages and the things that are holding us back. So y'all know last night it was in Pisces, so I was giving you guys the advice that it would be good to sort of kind um how can I say stack that energy. A lot of people don't believe in attracting on full moon phases, especially eclipse energy, because things can get kind of shaky, you know, so you got to be kind of about it, about it to get into that energy. However, just to keep it safe, there is usually a small window, um, which was last night before like 1030, that you're still in waxing phase energy. And I like to use that energy to kind of talk about to my spirit team the things that I want to see come to fruition. And then I use that energy the next day on the full moon to focus on removing any blockages that stand in the way of that. And I continue that energy for the remainder of the waning moon phase, period. Now, in terms of the full moon energy, we... Hold on, y'all. I always have to do this. Oh, where are my manners? Before I get started, welcome to all the new subscribers. I appreciate y'all for tapping in. And thank you to the OGs for continuing to engage, like, follow, share, you know, all the things that keep us going on this journey together. I appreciate y'all so much. Now, if y'all need an appointment, you know, you can click the link in my bio and I do have available slots for you all. And if you are in need of spiritual supplies, uh, we work by the season, but we do have some things available that may be, you know, efficient for you. Um, so yeah, just a little pop out, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's, let's get into it. So that's what I like to do. I like, you know, if you've been working with me for a while, you know, I like to stack my energy. And um, when I get ready to work in the moon phases, I don't believe in you can harness full moon energy three days before and three days after. So random as well. I did get some some blog posts up for y'all so you can tap into um, some different do's and don'ts and these are on the free level I just put up some general blogs and obviously for my second and third tiers I will have a little bit more available for you guys in terms of specific workings and uh, things that are out of like our members only grimoire so you know just tried and true but yes i have a little bit of something for everybody so check that out because i posted like two blogs today so you could just click the link in my bio to view those blogs on patreon you can like i said join as a free member and catch those resources but yo bed to the late shit hand so we went from a waxing gibbous which was giving you that extra push for your projects up until like 10 30 last night and then it went into the full moon eclipse energy which was uh it's considered one of the most powerful moons it's a time when you should address major challenges work on psychic development as well as spirituality so when you think of addressing major challenges this is again you removing and exiting everything that stands in the way of the confirmation the projects that you were trying to pursue during the waxing phase process like so if we're on steps and we've been identifying our goals for quite some time right all of this is a process but you have to decide in phases how you will evolve how you will go on this journey what you will do how long it's going to take you to do it don't listen to me y'all I have not posted my chat GPT prompts and I like to the detail like of what I think 
I had posted on this Facebook homeschoolers, um, cause I homeschool my daughter. I posted in the thing that we use ChatGPT to build her schedule based on our dream life as well as her birthday and the things that I wanted her to learn. Like built, I built a homeschool program like that. And a lot of people was like, what extra prompts did you use, et cetera? So I was like, oh, okay, cool. So people is really like leaning into the idea, right? So um, I'm like, damn, I feel kind of bad because I just randomly mentioned it on, on the Facebook group. And so now I'm like, oh, I didn't put my tribe on like I was supposed to. I did, but I didn't. Like I said, it's on Twitter somewhere. But um, I said I was going to put it on Patreon under the free tier so y'all could see what prompts to use. I feel like this is very important because the Evolve Hustler workbooks help you with like writing out those goals and you can download that into your digital notebooks or you can print them off PDF style. But it kind of puts the dream and your desires into like a story and perspective so you can see yourself in your current space like almost like a, a, a AI version of quantum leaping. I know that sounds like wild, but so true. And I ain't even gonna hold you for it. Since I've done it, because it was so natural based on our natal chart, based on our already certain activities we have and desires, going into that new beginning and new process just wasn't hard, y'all, because it was shit we was already doing anyway. So a few little things here and there. Now, why is this important? Uh, because whatever challenges you have in the way of you getting to this point again very powerful you want to move into that so as you were like last night would have been good for a cleansing and release bath or removal of blockages cross the shit you know um, as you get ready to ascend and follow into your new timeline. Now, Aries rules the head, which is what? Initiating action, new beginnings, confronting things, getting in other people's head, controlling and dominating people and situations, breaking habits. So you kind of can see energetically the the little, like, the little t um, breadcrumbs or the little things that spirit is giving you, your spirit team to be able to say, okay, this is what you're trying to do, get on it. So if you got something you're trying to do, you cleanse that energy, you let go, you banished all negativity from the past, you took that bath, um, you ran it out. Now it's time to get to work. Use your head, start off. So setting your intentions, you know, working through the process, strategizing and coming up with a plan. Now, to put that into a full focus for you guys, Wednesday is ruled by Mercury and Mercury is all about communication, um, learning, uh, luck, travel, trade, communication, increasing focus and alertness, prosperity within business and gambling. You may also, if that's your team, you may also want to focus on making some money charms today. And it's also good to uh, recognize when there are distraction and misleading spells going on, chaos and confusion, as well as stop gossip. So you want to make these energies transmute and work in your favor. But in order to transmute, um, and I notice a lot of people, like, they like to focus on the negative. Like, oh, you can't do this because you ain't, you know what I'm saying? You ain't reached this point in your journey or you ain't done. You do have to do a level of shadow work to tap into transmutation. You do. It's not an easy thing because it's like you got to train your mind to think the opposite almost. And as you train your mind and you decide to do these spells, those two things have to work hand in hand or you do this root work and conjure. I also want to point out, as I've been pointing out here lately, a lot of hoodoo besides the culture is kind of parallel with the idea of what a hedge witch is or a head you know yeah whatever so if you are not into hoodoo if you're not into voodoo and you follow because i have a wide demographic of listeners if you're not directly doing hoodoo practice because it's outside of your parameters in terms of culture you know you can always tap in in the sense of from the perspective of a hedge witch I will post more about hedge witchery on um, 
uh, on Patreon too. So you can get an idea of what that means. Um, because it just aligns in terms of like working with roots, working with herbs, being out in nature, working with the natural elements. It just went and I needed something like I was saying the other day because I felt like, damn, you know, I don't, there are, you know, people like a wide demographic of people that follow me. And but I now I will say I do practice hoodoo. I, I do. I am a hoodoo practitioner. I love it. And it speaks to me. It speaks to who I am um, ancestral wise. And that's just the practice I do. However, like I said, I like to read. I like to research. And some of those elements with being a hedge witch also kind of paralleled to the hoodoo culture, except, you know, minus certain workings, minus certain cultural parameters so you know do your due diligence definitely do your research i just can only give you what i've discovered thus far and like i said i want to be able to give a little bit of something because everybody not into voodoo everybody's not into hoodoo everybody's not into um santeria everybody's not doing that or and i'm not saying you'll never do it right and this is where I want you to pr- approach that perspective. Maybe you're not ready to jump into hoodoo. Maybe you're not ready to jump into voodoo. Maybe you're not ready to jump right into Santhrea. You know, some you some of these things you have to be initiated into. So while you're getting ready to go on to that process, let me give you some of these little hedge witch things that kind of closely align, you know, parallel to it, give you the basics and the foundation of that. So hold on to that because I was really like... I was kind of not stuck, but I was like, damn, I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody not there. Everybody not ready. Everybody not all the way there. Not only are you not there, you might not be a part of the culture. So it's not something you could ethically do, so to speak. You'd have to hire someone or, you know, et cetera. So, yeah, period, point blank. So, yeah, let's get to it. Um, So, now, what we got going on today... Let me see something. But yeah, like, tap in, y'all, because I'm trying to make sure we can, everybody get what they need. Did y'all know it was a search thing as a Christian witch? Did y'all know that? Yes, it is. They've been popping up on my timeline for weeks. Even certain little ads, like, it's an agenda. I'm like, baby, I'm hoodoo. I'm not a Christian witch. But if you are, no shade all tea, there is a community out there for you. Did you know that? It is. Yeah. Um, so, September 18th, a thing. We've just gone from the full moon, lunar eclipse in Pisces. And now we are working within Mercury and Virgo opposing Saturn in Pisces. Now, so basically, you're getting things to manifest. You're putting in the work. And you are doing what you need to do. So, they want you to know that your effort is going to pay off. And you got that Aries energy pushing you. So, hey, do what you do. I know I felt it. I was like, okay, let's get her done. You know what I'm saying? Let's do what we need to do. Because, <laughs> baby, we, we, we ain't trying to go back to that old thing. You know, also what I've noticed, and I, I have a larger demographic of women that are following me. So, I feel like it's important for me to also address this. It is a lot of men. Um, it was a post on uh, Facebook that I saw, and it was a post on, um, what was it? It was a post on, damn, what was it? Um, Shade Room on Instagram. Men killing their, like, this man killed his ex-wife. They divorced him and asked for a protective order um, to walk her from her car. He killed her in the parking lot of the courthouse. After they granted and did everything. Then it was a guy that posted on my Facebook. And I deleted his motherfucking ass. Because I was like, mm-mm. I, when I, I'm starting the process of if I see some shit and you want some weirdo type shit. Or you saying too much. You two on the patriarchy team. I will delete your ass. And I blocked him. Because, boy, we ain't on that type of time over here. Um, But he was like, mm, I bet y'all get right now or something. So I looked and he said... This woman and her two baby daddies, she had two baby daddies, fathers of her children, however, right? And do you know, 
that they conspired together to kill her. So she was dating a new guy, had a new boyfriend, had done moved on with her life with her children. The two baby daddies conspired to kill her, rushed in the house, kill her and the boyfriend in front of the children. So that's not, it was disturbing, but that's not what really took me for a fucking loop. What took me for a fucking loop was the comments and the vast amount of fucking ignoramus ass people that were like oh she must have did some they must have did this such such and such mm, what made them Ooh, she must have been a bad person if the both of them conspired against her nobody was on her side like it was people that was on her side but then it was just to me way more ignorant comments like that and not to get too negative in the chat because we ain't on that shit no more as much as, you know, spirit be warning us, but we ain't on that bullshit. But what tripped me the fuck out was the people's reaction and how quick they was, as they say, to victim blame. And I know y'all have seen what's going on with Didi, the diddler, as they, as they affectionately call him. And he just do way too... I, when, I say, when I think of Didi, I think to myself, he's not himself right now. <laughs> I talk to y'all a lot about spirits inhabiting bodies Diddy is not fucking Diddy, okay? He's not Puff. He's not Love. He's not nobody. He has vibrated so fucking low that he is not himself. Spiritually, he's not there anymore. The eyes are dead. It's a void back there. And the spirit has inhabited him and has struck him down to the lowest of low. He is going to lose every fucking thing financially. And his legacy is fucking tarnished with all them damn children. And it's just like, he ain't there. But, you know, male violence against women, women not being able to move on with their lives, women not being able to, like, just be at fucking peace. It's just, you know, we have to defend it. Like, like, and it, I thank God, I didn't comment because I don't like to confuse the algorithm. Like, mm-mm. But I was just like, damn, like, I mean... People was like, it don't what it don't make sense what y'all saying because if they just wanted their children and they felt like something bad or negative was happening, why not like um take her to court and you know CPS involved? So clearly this was a dark, dark energy. But it's like they trying to scare women. And it, these was two black women, mind you. No shade. You know, I know it happens on all demographics. But I just want to highlight that for, you know, context purposes. This was two black women that they that this happened to. Like, the fuck is really going on? So, yeah, y'all, keep y'all head on the motherfucker swivel because they acting out. And Dee Dee and the thousand bottles of fucking baby oil and the sex trafficking and all this shit he was doing, bro. It, it's just like, wow, like... You got you. Do you realize how fucking low you have to be vibrating? (laughs) And to anybody who think that man is in his, and then when they arrested this nigga, he had um he was in the damn hotel room still doing Miley, still doing drugs. (laughs) Like if that don't tell you what you need to know about his current state of psyche, I mean, come on. So I say that in a grand scheme of saying some motherfuckers really out here and they ain't in their body. They not themselves right now. <laughs> and you really, and I'm laughing, you know, they say, you know, you got to laugh to keep them crying. They not themselves. And there is a crowd of people that will still go, go for their ass. So I need y'all to understand, like, stay diligent in your spiritual practices and your protections and your cleansings. And, you know, never let your left hand know what the motherfucking right hand doing. Keep some shit to yourself this season. Shh, be quiet. Move in silence. Because they, mm -mm, it's too much. And I was like, damn, I'm meant to speak on this shit because it came across my timeline like way too many times. (laughs) Two, one, two is too much. Then, like, they say this shit about Diddy is just not even fucking funny. And it's, like, randomly, like, his, like, twin daughters who are their senior, senior year, it, like, came across my timeline. And people was actually, like, in the comments when Quincy was, they posted a video of Quincy saying it, you know, I'll be sure was his father, but Diddy was his dad. Like, what the fuck, nigga? 
I and then so people was like literally in the comments like, oh. Well, you can say what you want about his extracurricular activities. He's still a good dad. What the fuck? Then, because Quincy old enough, baby, you definitely know what the fuck going on. If this motherfucker is trafficking young people, you know, across state lines, racketeering, all that shit, you, Quincy old, Quincy of age. How the fuck did you sit up in an interview with your entire motherfucking Harry fucking chest and say did my daddy what mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. and i say that because he not a child he not young do y'all think diddy is a groomer do y'all think these boys don't know what the fuck going on and then he gonna sit up there and say that shit with his whole motherfucking chest Boy, stop. Retract immediately. But it was people in the comments, much like the post on Facebook, giving them props, giving them leave way. What the fuck? How are you a good daddy to girls and you around here trafficking women, taking folks against their will, beating motherfuckers up, drugging folks? How is you a good daddy? Also, you don't believe the other people had dads? That's interesting. And then, what else I was going to say? Justin looked like he thin and at the top of his motherfucking hair. He need, he think he got that little, he think they got that, he think they got that, he got that 3B. He need to put some motherfucking rosemary in or egg Because as he was walking around, I was like, damn, that little boy balling at the top. I don't fucking ready. He's in his damn 1819 as well. You are aware. Children these days know what's going on social media the internet you cannot tell me they know what the fuck these people doing okay now back to what i was saying about the little girls come across my timeline and they not little girls they seniors in high school little girl to me though i was like why this shit come across my motherfucking timeline like I, I, I don't follow the combs twins you know no shade um but that's not my demographic and um age-wise whatever and you can see it you can, like, pay attention. Pay attention, but the signs are there. They know who they fucking daddy is, okay? They know that nigga more than we know him. You understand? So, I just want y'all to take it all in. Remain vigilant, vigilant in your practices. Because it's crazy as fuck out here. Like, it's real deal, motherfuckers. Like... Oh, he a good daddy. How is he a good daddy? You shoot the kids in the other store. You shoot the kids in front of, shoot the mama in front of the kids. And, oh, they care about their kids. It's real life ignorant ass people. Say, How do you care? You still traumatize your fucking children. Like, where I feel like I'm in an episode, like I'm being punked. Where the fuck is Ashton? Smell me. Where's Ashton? Because, baby, we being punked. <laughs> okay? We are being motherfucking punked. These folk crazy. So, yeah. Okay, I'm done ranting about the current culture in the news. Because the culture is, it's okay to abuse women. In the end, for my sisters from another mister, have y'all seen the post about the lady from Handover? They call her the Handover Witch, I think. And... The, they they had some type of law all the way from fucking the 1800s and so she owned a, like a, a coat shop metaphysical store in Handover, Pennsylvania something like that this was on TikTok too and so the damn sheriff them done came on in her store to my we, we all trying to stop her from reading motherfucking tarot based on a law from the 18 fucking hundreds you know how I many tarot readers is out there today? Baby, when I say they trying their best, I feel like, and then they put out all these stories of these women and stuff to scare us into submission. I feel like the thing with the Hanover Witch is like certain places do have laws still. So research your area. They have not been eradicated. And so these people really went in this late store. So she got a whole campaign going. She been on the news and everything. They like, yo, you could do everything but read tarot. It's against the law. Like, are you serious? Are you fucking serious? And they continue to bother her. Because I saw her story a long time ago. Like months ago. So they continue to fuck with her. Like, baby. Ooh, 
child, and they're letting them open a whole business like a brick and mortar. <sighs> mm, mm, mm. Anyway, but God ain't dead and he damn sure ain't blind. So everybody who's doing what they doing, you, you already know what time it is. <laughs> Let you dig that hole deep enough to you hang yourself, you feel me? Okay, so the sun is in Virgo, the moon is in Aries. It's at a full moon phase, and obviously my Mercury's in Aries, so I got a lot to get on my motherfucking chest today, clearly. I didn't tap in yesterday, uh, so I'm, I'm here. Let me see, Louis. Um, We are still heavy in the retrograde. Uh, the sun is opposing the moon in Aries at 8 degrees, and of that fire and desire, that starting anew, and that committing to the process. But Aries is like the little kid-like nature and really like maybe having a problem as like kind of like Gemini to sticking down and really following the task. So the sun in Virgo and that Aries energy, which also can be indicative of exposure too. And that sun in Virgo is like, I don't want to deal with that shit. The sun in Virgo is also squaring Jupiter in... Has Jupiter shifted yet? Yeah, it's still in Gemini. Jupiter in Gemini, five degrees. It's trining Uranus in Taurus at zero degrees. It's opposing Neptune in Pisces, retrograde at two degrees. It is trining Pluto in Aquarius at three degrees. <sighs> being exposed, being alert... Having the confidence in what you know and committing to a path, setting the tone is cool because you got that trining and that Uranus energy for the long haul. So that Taurus and that Virgo energy is working together. But that Virgo energy do not want to deal with immature, sorry y'all, Aries energy and fickle Gemini energy is really not want to deal with it. Um... Then not want to deal with your deep, deepest feelings, possibly having a hard time following your intuition or committing to a creative project or process. Uh, the moon is trining Mars in... Mars has shifted. In, no, it has. It's still in Cancer. Mars in Cancer. I've been gone for a day. You know what I'm saying? You never know. Um, the moon is conjuncting Neptune in Pisces at six degrees. It is sextile Pluto in Capricorn. I said Pluto in Aquarius, I think, earlier. Pluto in Capricorn retrograding at five degrees. So very much giving new start, transformation, encouraging the right amount of anarchy for change or chaos for change. Group project, look up homework rather. Look up the energy of chaos and what that means and how that stands forth in um, Greek culture and Pantheon. Chaos is like a real deal team. Now, what else? Mercury is squaring Jupiter and Gemini at four degrees. It is also opposing Saturn. Ooh, we got a lot of oppositions. Saturn and Pisces at zero degrees. So following your intellect, because uh, Mercury and Virgo... And committing to a path, taking the time to learn, being confident in what you know, so you can be free. And mm, using your intelligence to do the work that needs to be done and having the discipline to shift the change. Ooh, that's the energy today. Then Venus, still while I'm going around in Libra, is trining Jupiter and Gemini at four degrees. It's Canucks. Or Uranus in Taurus at two degrees. It's also squaring Pluto in Aquarius in Capricorn. You won't get me today. Pluto in Capricorn retrograde at five degrees. Mm. What's right? What's foul? What's the standard? Heart in the feather. That squaring energy. Not being comfortable enough to do the work to incite change and transformation. But giving you the free will to make a plan for the long term, though, that's um, cohesive with your desires. But yeah, mm -hmm. Uranus and Taurus is sextile Neptune in Pisces. It is also at one degree. It is also trining Pluto and Capricorn at two degrees retrograde. So daddy, granddaddy Uranus, literally is 
get is harmonious with the energy of Pisces and Neptune to following your dreams and working with your imagination and childlike nature to build the long term life that you need for the future. It is also um, aligning with any type of things that need to end. Uh, possibly from a previous timeline, give you a chance to review the things you may need to have a little bit more discipline for, um, the extra work you might need to be focused on doing. Hmm. The nodes in Aries are still kind of cutting up. They're retrograding. Well, one is stationed direct and one is um, retrograding in Aries. So it's a lot of fiery energy, a lot of like battle energy today passionate ambitious like be on confirmation the up and up side for that energy okay because the nodes are all about your destiny and your past life you know lessons so conjuncting with mars and aries at one degree ooh, boosting you giving you that pump uh, you might feel a fiery need to just do what you got to do. You ain't wait for nobody to hold your hand to get where you're trying to go these days, right? Um, it is squaring Mars in Cancer. It's like passive aggressive about what's going on in the past um, in terms of your home life. There may be issues that you're facing, mother wounds, family wounds, Um Let's see, opposing Lilith and Libra, which I feel like it's been doing for a while at one degree. Hostile energy towards balancing out the shadow work that needs to be done surrounding beauty standards, relationships, partnerships of all kind, um, the just and the fair, and just leaning into what feels good to you. Like, nah, like, are you okay with these? Are you okay with the past? And, you know, how can you work on changing that? Chiron, no, Lilith in Libra is opposing the moon in Virgo at three degrees. Air and Earth, obviously, um, that opposition is, you know, true. I, I could see it where they might not necessarily be getting along. So subconsciously, you know you need to do the work. You know you need to commit. And also, it's a lot of shit you, you don't want to deal with because Virgo is the hermit in traditional tarot. So Lilith and Libra is like, do your fucking shadow work and face your, your deepest, darkest and goddamn Virgo like, nah, that ain't your business though. My business ain't your business. You know how that old woman <laughs> in that meme, sometimes my business just ain't your business. That's what, <laughs> oh shit, that was the moon in Virgo telling Lilith and Libra, sometimes my business just ain't your business. So there needs to be some sort of alignment there, mind, body, and soul with that three degree energy. Chiron in Aries is retrograding, opposing Venus in Libra at two degrees and sextile Jupiter in Gemini at one degree. Balance, patience is needed, but working through those shadows, childhood trauma, uh, and within relationships of all kinds, what, how do you show up, you know, in your tribe, in your community is being challenged. Um, but there is a blessing in harmonious workings here with the Jupiter and Gemini. So it's giving you the, the confidence and the blessings to take a look or in an effort to exert your power of communication. You might be feeling more vocal, you know, about what's not fair and what's right to you and what's not. You know, a lot of justice work going on, obviously, right now. Clearly, as you see, <laughs> lots of exposure. Please make sure you're on the right side of shit. <laughs> Please. All right, so let's see. What Papa can give us today in terms of a collective read. So once y'all get off of here and you watch the visuals, I am going to upload um, to I'm gonna upload to YouTube and Patreon. Extended readings are on Patreon um, under the second tier, the 333 a month. You can get the extended readings. Um, and but you can watch the full readings, which are usually about nine minutes or so, depending on how long the read is. That's going to be on YouTube. And while y'all wait, if you follow me on TikTok, you can catch up to about six minutes of the visuals. So get in where you fit in, man. Like I said, I try to, I'm doing this whole digital um, creator type deal. So 
So I'm making my business to put a little bit of something everywhere. Information. Yes. So, Papa, thank you so much for opening the roads for myself and the tribe so that we can maneuver with discernment and clarity and get the guidance and the little bit of tea and information that we need. Thank you so much for protecting us as we go through this portal and get this this tea info from you, you know what I'm saying? Because you never know what's on the other side as I stand at the crossroads for the tribe. Ten, thank you so much for the gift. You know I don't abuse the gift. I honor it. I appreciate it. I love it. So, what do you have for us today, Papa? Because I know something, very much something is going on. <laughs> you know, like split the dick, the fool and the magician. Hmm. Okay, this party started right. Now we only went, uh uh, guys. Y'all gonna show up for me today, baby. She should time me. Let's see. Let me shuffle the oracle because I went through. Usually, a good shuffle is about seven times to kind of blend it up. Y'all working into tarot and oracle cards, they say about seven times is a real good team. Also, make sure you guys are charging your cards. Um, you can put them in the window seal. You can put them on your altar, etc. Well, let's see. Let me get some goodness, Lord. It's time for me to get some new Poodle Tarot cards. I told y'all I was going to turn them into some art and put them in my um, studio. I am. All right, see what time we on. What's up, y'all? Clarity. <laughs> Shout out to the tribe. What's going on with the past um, spirit team? What's going on? Six of knives in the reverse past energy. Can I get the present energy, please? Ace of knives in the upright. Can I get the collective energy, please? Ooh, something's coming. Son of knives in the reverse. Lots of air energy today. What the fuck? Tell me about the near future. Ten of coins in the reverse. Tell me about the overall energy of today's read. Four of knives in the reverse. We have a lot of air sign energy today. Ooh, let's see. Let's see what spirit got to say, y'all. So... In terms, okay, so possibly um, maybe about six weeks ago, you started to experience a lot of negative thoughts or maybe you could be going through or over something that happened in your situation that you haven't been able to move on from. Presently, you're gaining some sort of clarity or truth in your current reality about Something that may happen to you. Whatever finna go down, this shit finna go down over the next four weeks. This month, next four weeks, four to six weeks. Now, the collective energy here, we have someone who maybe like is reckless with their words or their thoughts. They might not be thinking straight. This could be an air sign, masculine, a younger Air sign masculine um, energy, take it where it resonates, could be feminine or masculine. And so, yeah, somebody's really reckless with their words or, you know, saying things they shouldn't say. This could be indicative of a liar. You know what I mean? Um, if this person isn't young or old, maybe they are like a younger type energy. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way their mind works because, you know, knives is thoughts mind you know ideas so you got the ten of coins indicating that somebody's possible their legacy has been tarnished they might not have no money maybe this person is thinking negatively about this and they you know something that happened like i said maybe about six weeks ago with that six of knives in reverse then overall again somebody's very much stuck in their head with the four of knives they can't stop thinking about something they continue to entertain these negative thoughts and ideas and ways of communicating with people so let's get a little bit more 
um, in regards to that. Tell me about the six of knives in reverse, please, spirit. So these are very young-minded ass energies. I can tell you that already. People move very immaturely. So somebody took some sort of action. Uh, son of sticks in the upright they took an action that they were very confident about um and now they in their head about this shit it was they returned to something or there there's a negative thought process about it give me some more on that please Ooh, we got ancestor scorpio energy <laughs> there's some sort of ending here oh my Somebody took an action and like pushed their eggs backwards and they're experiencing endings because of it could be a Scorpio here. Ooh, T. Tell me about the Son of Knives in reverse. So somebody didn't is this somebody you definitely might not even be wanting to partner or collaborate with? Um, three of coins in the reverse. Mm. Some sort of lack of collaboration, lack of discipline. Tell me about the three of coins in reverse, spirit. Mm. Two of coins in reverse. So, yeah, you, to me, this is somebody who don't think before they act. Um, maybe somebody didn't think before. Lack, we have a lack of discipline when it comes to doing some sort of work. And then somebody's like priorities were out are out of order or were tell me because this is coins energy. So you might be dealing with the ramifications of something that happened most recently because there was a lack of discipline in terms of deciding to either end a partnership or have your priorities in order. Tell me more. But it looks like you are starting over. It's causing you to have to start over, but you are able to start over. Now, to switch it, you might have been dealing with a younger air sign masculine. Um, and this energy is somebody you no longer are looking to partner with because they don't have their priorities in order. And you no longer want to work with this person. So you are starting over. You're building a new process for yourself. So take it where it resonates. Now, we got the Ten of Coins in reverse. Clarity, please. So, daughter of sticks. We have a fire sign, feminine energy. Um, somebody that's very much... Um, they've become... Looks like somebody's looking to take some sort of action. Hmm. Due to a loss. Tell me more, please. Yeah, it was a loss. Somebody's plans didn't work out. So now somebody has to maybe change directions. They might have to fearlessly shift. Uh, we got a son of coins here as well in the reverse, though. So earth sign, masculine energy. Yeah, somebody plans ain't quite work out. Tell me more. Are they moving slow? And this is because due to a lack of ambition, a lack of get up and go with the five of sticks in the reverse. Um, tell me more. And mm, mm, hold up, man. I just got to download this. Somebody's gossiping about this um, earth sign masculine. Somebody's plans didn't work out. They premature plans didn't work out. And people are gossiping and talking about them, possibly in a way of saying that, you know, they weren't ambitious enough. You weren't smart enough. You didn't, you weren't assertive. You didn't do what you're supposed to do. And it could be this Leo energy here, big mama in reverse sun card. Um, so this is not something that you see. This is something that's happening <clears throat> yeah, in the background. Tell me more. Yeah, you don't see this. Um, somebody's very much hiding eight of knives in reverse, that they're trapped. They can't move on from something. They're feeling very oppressed and stuck in their negative thought patterns right now about this. Okay, tell me more. And you seem to have released yourself from this attachment, uh, Miss Robinson. And if you haven't, you need to. Uh, cancer energy. I mean, my cancer, my bad. Capricorn. Yeah, you need to release yourself from this energy because there is a high priestess, Miss Ida, in reverse energy that is going on. Hold on. Now, what's this? Taurus energy. Mm-hmm. Three of baskets in the upright. So, <laughs> yeah. Somebody's trapped and they're having to, in order to relieve themselves, they got to detach from this devil energy, this high priestess in reverse, this dark witch, because this is somebody that they've been networking and working with. 
And it could be up to three people. One, two, three. I do see three people. One, two, three. Really, I see four. So three or more people. Because then you got the daughter of sticks. Yeah, somebody was very, very passionate. Um, I took a passionate action to create a ten of coins energy. And it looks like they planned um did not work out uh they were premature maybe they were trying to slow you down and there's a lot of gossip a lot of aggression a lot of just hidden animosity that's being hidden about this and somebody is trying to figure out how they're going to get out of this situation they are having a hard time because they need to release themselves from this high priestess in reverse that they decided to work with um again this is someone that they care for this is somebody that either they pretended to care for or they actually do care for this person tell me about the four of knives in reverse please somebody is deep in their mind about what they lost their dreams not being fulfilled with this nine of baskets in reverse and they are looking six of coins to maybe this is somebody that has to pay you back or there's something that needs to be properly invested in to make this work out for you. Tell me more. Yeah, somebody's lacking some sort of progress here with the two of sticks. Um, no partners. Ooh, their progress is slowed down. Possibly minor conflict. Delays. Delays. There's a minor delay. Not a long delay, but a minor delay. So there was an investment that was made um, and now someone's deep in their mind because they feel like they're not getting their wishes fulfilled. However, let me see. You got a daughter of coins, an earth sign, feminine energy. Um, again, you and your feelings, like your plans is not moving as fast. Um, daughter of baskets in the upright right spirit needs you to stay committed and loyal to the process. Get creative um, with this new energy passionate even make the proper investments yeah slowing down their commitments here removals that are happening so obviously even in the aspects there's like so much fucking work being done that obviously we're going through the motions but you just got to continue to stay the course and do the work that's all i can say for real for real tell me about the ace of knives here what's this truth and clarity so you realize five of knives in the upright that you did have some opposing forces. You see this shit. Like you see that there's energy that is opposing you. This is not something you don't notice. It could be a father of sticks, a earth sign, not earth sign, fire sign masculine. This person was definitely being abusive and controlling here. Tell me more. And they were doing so in secret. This is something they was covering up. Um, again, could possibly be someone you was committed to. Um by way of work, by way of legacy, in Virgo, it could be a Virgo energy here. Mm. Let's see what the guys have to say. It's like I'm getting two waves. It's like progression, but also T in the same thing. It's like almost I'm thinking I'm hearing like accountability also. You know, but do the work, and obviously you're going to get to this because the collective is setting the tone. We setting the tone, but you can't work with these people. You can't invest in them um, because they're going to keep throwing you off balance. You know, they're reckless. They're malicious, you know. So as you begin this new journey at, with this ace of coins for the long haul, you've got to recognize that about these people in order for you to move forward. Your commitment to these people and the loyalty that you have to them is what's slowing down your plans. Is what's like delaying your progress, period confirmation let's see what the guys gotta say though it's um tell me about the past energy yo so something's over here we got a king of pentacles in the upright earth sign masculine that you seem to have freed yourself from nine of swords in the reverse and this is because possibly this person acted very recklessly they were very cold the sun and knives has come out in reverse in two different ways so knight of swords is the same as the son of knives you know technically right so yeah somebody did something very reckless reckless with their words their thoughts their actions and it seems as though maybe there's a leo involved here strength in reverse but it seems to have taken some strength 
And now they are out in the cold poverty. Ooh. So this is this person from your past. This is a five of pentacles energy. They did something very reckless. It took their strength and now they out in the past. And you freed yourself from this king of pentacles. Maybe you have the discipline to free yourself from this person. Tell me more about the present energy, please. So, and you might have recently just decided to do this. You know, you were discovering things bit by bit. You know what I'm saying? This ain't like a long-term decision. You've known these people for a long time, but these are decisions you made over the past month or two. Feel me? So, presently, someone is experiencing a tower. Could be this father of sticks we have here in your energy. Um, someone's going through some endings. Because of lies, ace of swords in the reverse, injustice that happened, delusions. And they, you had to move on from this energy. Six of swords here. Yeah, it was a hierophant. Our spirit made you move on. Um, the hierophant Taurus energy. Yeah, you had to move on. Somebody's experiencing a tower because of this. Mm -hmm. And the train is confirmation. Move, moving. Um, tell me about the collective energy, please. But you are in the will of fortune. So I keep saying this like it's looking like, but I feel like spirit just wants you to just do what you do while the storm passes. You know how, you know, in the old days they they say like, you know, you from the country or whatever. I don't know how y'all city folks do it. But when we be with our grandparents, our aunties, whatever, they be like, when it's storming, they be like, sit down. The Lord is doing his work. I feel like that's the energy right now for the tribe. Like, you're good, you know? Get out of negative thinking. Don't be trying to partner with these people. Keep your priorities intact, and you will get this new start. You will get this will of fortune that you see. But can you please sit down while the Lord is doing his work? You know what I'm saying? That energy. Tell me about the near future. Yeah, someone seems to have lost control of something here. Uh, four of pen coins or pinnacles in the reverse clarity. Somebody seems to have lost control of something. Now there is an abundance of options or maybe they thought they had a bunch of options. Six, seven of cups. What's that? Yeah, they thought they had a whole bunch of options, but they lost control of these folks, all these people that's involved. And now they're not stable. Their wishes aren't being fulfilled. Tell me more. And they're being forced to walk away or these people have walked away. Mm -hmm. tell me about the overall energy please yeah the chariot in reverse somebody has been slowed down or stopped uh what is this chariot in reverse somebody's been slowed down nope somebody tried to stop you from removing some sort of stagnation with the four of cups in the upright here or stop you from getting an offer from spirit because it's coming out of the air. It's not a physical person. So you was going to get an offer from spirit and they didn't want you to take this shit. So they took some sort of initial action with the page of wands to betray you. They didn't want you. They tried to slow it down. They knew spirit was going to give you this shit. So you was destined to get these. Yeah, this is the devil. Capricorn energy. They betrayed you. This is a demonic energy. Mm, tell me more yeah they wanted you broke busted they wanted you attached to the spirit of poverty and lack damn two of swords in the reverse and there was something that was discovered but now they see that you seem to have freed yourself from this attachment the hangman in reverse pisces energy yeah you're no longer burdened here you don't carry this cross ten of wands in the reverse and you took some sort of action here. Again, Spirit's offering you a new part. of. You took action. Uh, maybe Spirit gave you some advice here to end this. Yeah, two of cups in the reverse. Yeah, you ended this part, this love. <laughs> and if you haven't, you motherfucking better. Lover could be anybody. Somebody you trust. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the Oracle got to say, y'all. Past energy. Yeah, you're healing from the past. Like, things were done. Like I said, you know, the storm will pass. You know, this too shall pass type things. Uh, but as it do, like, move in the frequency. Continue to align. That's what I'm hearing. Present energy, please. Yeah, do not be tricked by this father of sticks in reverse, this higher energy clarity. 
Y'all believe what they showed your ass the first motherfucking time. Period. Tell me about the near um the collective energy. Stay inspired. Yeah, for real though. We got what it is, a dove. Mm. Tell me about the near future. Don't lose your zest for life. You feel me? Something's no longer a mystery here. What? That you couldn't create because you were so focused on these people that you may have loved or cared about. Cancer energy. Yes, love card came right out, y'all. Don't play. Yeah, these are people you cared and you loved, you know. So you had to walk away from these and you grieving people that have not physically left this earthly plane yet, you know. Um, so continue to give yourself grace, but still, these is not energies that you need to continue to deal with. Give me the overall energy. Continue to have patience. Yeah, patience. This too shall pass. I told y'all. Mm-hmm. Let's see the back door. You know, I had to keep it cute for my aunties and my unks and my elevated ancestors. Somebody made a bad decision. Them bones in reverse. Yeah, so you had to walk away. Ate the baskets in the upright and move forward. Railroad bill, cancer, energy, people you cared about, people you love, just like I said. So now you're just waiting for progress to come through. Seven of coins in the upright and eight of sticks here indicates that you are going to progress quickly. Just stay confident and stay fearless and focused. There is, um, and stay balanced. There could possibly be a Sagittarius here. Um, someone to two of baskets that you are aligned with, you um are going to receive some sort of help. Um, or maybe they're gonna be looking for help, ten of sticks, and because they seem to have lost their strength here, someone from your past. So this person is looking for some sort of victory, so they are strategizing here. Um, and they're gonna give you some sort of offer, right? Four of cups or whatever yeah spirit says do not move forward with these yeah because again they go to hangman and cherry oh pisces energy yeah spirit said do not take this offer six of baskets because this is going to continue a cycle and of you not listening to your guides not paying attention to what's going on daughter of knives um aquarius energy here someone is definitely doing some sort of magic here aquarius and gemini hmm Somebody's very confident and focused on man doing some sort of magic. There's an Aquarius, there's a Gemini, there is a Taurus, Hierophant, Star, uh, Magician to have some sort of new life um, for themselves. And there is a tower happening right now because you've walked away and you're living comfortably Um and they can no longer come towards you or take action. Somebody is in their feelings, committed to or in their feelings with a mother of coins. Somebody very selfish and greedy. And this person needs your protection. So they are fighting right now because they do receive, they receive some sort of clarity that they are the emperor in reverse Aries energy. And this investment, this control tactic has seemingly broke some sort of bond or there's a betrayal here because it was a bad decision it was being manipulative um focused on money and they that's how they got played by this mother of knives in reverse now somebody's experiencing extreme loss they can't get help from the ancestors um and they are in their feelings mother of baskets in reverse because this relationship that they committed to is a dub you know five of baskets you know this is a loss they've possibly been doing magic negative just negative negative nine of nines yeah this is somebody they made a family with um so some somebody wants justice here could be your enemy so yeah they wanted some sort of foundation some sort of family and this empress in reverse here the big queen her plans aren't working out because she's been exposed and her will of fortune is now in lack um, and this is a challenge and this might not be something you are privy to right now, but obviously you can garage it and made you privy to it. Back though, the Empress in reverse again, by Aries is significant. Yeah, spirit says do not be a regret. This was a dark person. Um, this is not something you need to waste your energy on. 
continue um, because you are moving to the four of wands and the six of wands in terms of being very successful, being very stable, getting your wishes fulfilled, nine of cups here, because judgment has been called or you call judgment and you laid your sword down um, because this queen of swords here, this person can no longer fight towards you. So they are going to try to come forward with an apology or some sort of offer, knight of cups um, to the nine of wands because they are down bad nothing that they working on is working out they feel like y'all got unfinished business it was secretly they really don't care page of cups in reverse they selfish they mad they in their feels because you don't want to work with them no more they can't betray you this is a high priestess in reverse and this person broke 10 of pentacles in the reverse and they are worried because they've lost control of their balance financially their stability um in this emperor here hmm. He cannot see that magic was being done, but it's being revealed now. He maybe couldn't see it, but it's being revealed that this Cancer uh, Sagittarius energy was trying to create some balance in their life by doing something unjustified and to stop someone from working on a goal or working towards something. Now it seems to have been a waste of time because they still didn't make any progress because this King of Cups, this person just doesn't really give a fuck. They're very selfish and they, they are not planning on moving forward and doing nothing. They might not even be talking to this person right now. So somebody made a decision and they thought they were being strategic to end the cycle here, but it caused them to be in this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And now they are trying to think of a master plan to continue with their goals. But what's being um, exposed, no, what's being hidden is this person is needing to heal uh, from some sort of trauma because it looks as though some sort of immature, reckless move they made is causing them a lot of endings. Death card here. Um, and it could have had to do with this Queen of Pentacles in the upright with whom they decided that they thought this person was a queen. Mm. Maybe they felt like this person was going to be in their feelings. But it looks like there's a healing that happened because somebody is no longer communicating or listening to the lies. They're going to need some help. But Spirit says, don't you be no fool. The fool in reverse. And partner with this person, Three of um, Pentacles. Um, because this queen of wands, yeah, this person is going to try to offer you up something. Stay focused. Yeah, they are very much in their head. They thinking, they contemplating, they plotting, they planning, they motherfucking scheming because they down bad. Now, spirit wants you to trust that this isn't going to work. Continue to stay joyous. Don't play no games with these folks. Stay at peace. Stay in your power. Your family is not very wise. <laughs> Um, and they're not getting any rest because of some sort of stupid ass decision they made to make a deal with the devil deal in reverse Capricorn. They're going to try to communicate with you to restore balance because something is sacred, maybe um, some sort of victory here. But spirit does not want you to be consumed with this because that's going to lower your boundaries and you're not going to be able to protect yourself if you collaborate with these people. They still haven't grown, but somebody uh, spirit wants you to remain confident within your memories. Um, you know what you know. Yeah, there's something that was being hidden here. Something hasn't changed. They're still going to come after you because you freed yourself and you're moving into rebirth. But Spirit says, do not be in fear. You are being provided for. Their intentions are bad and they want to stop you from being so determined to transmute this energy. But there are endings that have been exposed, possibly death energy, Scorpio here, um, because somebody was very unkind and their mask has fallen off. Remain courageous because these people, their instincts aren't where they should be. They're not on your level. Get on my level, ho. And they cannot con, con you anymore. Spirit wants you to defend yourself and keep your boundaries up because, you know, they don't think you've adapted to their their ways. You feel me? So it's like they still think you green, you know. That's a term we use when somebody, you know, don't know what they know. You might be taking advantage because the person is not as wise. Like your family don't think you wise, so they're going to try to play on your ass. Strength card here. Yeah, they they see you strong and they want to take that energy. And they are definitely busy at work trying to plot, plan. You know, they seem calm on the surface, but below the surface... They trying to figure out how they get what they need, baby. Hmm. Yeah. That's my word, y'all. I am very grateful for all the support and the engagement and 
continuing to patronize my business. I love you guys so much. And I try to make sure I put out, you know, the the information spirit gives me and guides me to put out. And, you know, I just enjoy you guys so much. Make sure you turn on your notifications so when the visuals drop, you know what's up. When the YouTubes drop, you know what's up. And if you need me, you know that I am around. Click the link in my bio. I do have available slots for readings. I have a little bit of something for everybody. And also, I do have spiritual supplies that you may can utilize on your journey. Okay? We are still within getting ready for the harvest season, which occurs on the 22nd. Um, so continue to just a lot of gems. I be posting snippets on certain social media outlets, but a lot of the gems are going to be on Patreon. Okay? But I love you guys, and you know we will chat soon. Okay? Bye. Happy full mooning.